go for the lap sow. So if if Pete does the lap sow with, from the fuck sow, that's it. So you see his arms crossed. So when you see his arms crossed, you pin pin the arms together. So straight away you can shut him down as he goes for that lap sow. You can pin back. That's if you have a your fuck sow like this. You have a jut sow. If you have your fuck sow like that. If if you have your fuck sow. Sometimes you, 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 you see different things going on like this. The trouble when you see a fuck sow like this is it no longer has a jut sow because you already used the jut sow. So you, you, it, to, to bring it down, you have to use your arm and your shoulder. Um, but if he does the lap sow and you have this fuck sow, you, you, can, you can go to a jut sow there and, and pin, up, pin up the arms. Um, you can do it as an attack without the lap sow, you could just bring your, if you don't do anything. If, if you bring the fuck sow over a little bit, you can push this one down on top of this one and use it as an attack. So you don't have to use it just as a defense, you can use it as an attack. But he, he might realize you're doing that. And then you might encourage him to do the lap sow before you get a chance to do it. So whenever you create an imbalance, he has an opportunity, you have an opportunity. So you're trying to do it without him noticing it. You're trying to move it across so that suddenly he doesn't, he's, he's thinking about something else, he's looking at something else, and then uh, you can catch him on it. Or if he gets to this point we did earlier, we did the bill sow, you step that way, you do the bill sow, and then you come back on the elbow. So you deflect that force. He does the laps out to the elbow, you push this one out. Push, you could push it towards his eyes so that you distract him with the potential lack of vision. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but you're watching his elbow, his elbow is exposed, so you come down on that elbow so you have the, the, the elbow. Or you could tan pack, do the same thing. So the same thing we did at the beginning of the class, it was interchangeable. You could use the tan or you could use the bill. You could use either one of those. So you extend your arm, you deflect his force over there, so you don't fight force with force. You change the angle, which means you're fighting on the blind side. You expose the elbow, you create arms crossed, and you create openings. And because you're on this angle, the blind side, you're very, very safe. Whereas if you're in the middle, and we were fighting in the middle here, and he's fighting in the middle back, you're under a lot of pressure. So if he goes for that lap sow, he goes to change the angle, and then you change the angle back, you're, you're trying to move into a position where you don't have to deal with the rear arm and rear leg. So you're getting the idea that the techniques that we were using earlier, you're moving to the blind side. Now with the reflexes, the contact reflexes, you're developing your sensitivity to the direction of his force, the magnitude of his force, so that you deflect that force. Once that force is deflected, you have that moment where you can get on the elbow or get the arms crossed, and then you can attack his balance, attack his structure, and then that gives you the opening so that you can then uh, put the pressure back on and cause some damage and, and so on. So it's all interrelated. You have the, the chi sao supports what you do in uh, the, the real situation, just builds up your eyes watching those things and then your contact reflexes to read the sensitivity, to read the energy, and then you can apply the strategy. It happens too fast. If, to, if you were to try to do it just with your eyes and with your conscious mind to, to try and see everything and then try and react, it takes it's 0.2 of a second for your eyes to see something and then react to it. So you have that processing time. So it's in this kind of distance, there is the, it's, it's, um, the eye is too slow to see and pick it up, so you require the contact reflexes to give you the time. But contact reflexes, 0.05 of a second. Punch, 0.11 of a second. So 0.05, you have enough time to read the direction of his energy and then respond to it. And then your conscious mind, once your reflexes become uh, tuned, your conscious mind can then uh, is free to look at those places. So you're still processing, but your, your reflexes are dealing with a lot of things that are going on. Um, and that's it. So we'll just run through that technique a couple of times just to remind you. So, um, uh, yeah, do that side, yeah. 
So the first one you shut him down with arms crossed. And then the next one you do the bill sound that you did before. It's the same thing in the other technique. And um, or tense our pack sound. And then do that. Okay? So try those. <laughs> 